Lists are everywhere. In fact, most of the data on the internet appears in some kind of list. While they may look different, all lists are essentially the same. For example, items in a list appear in order. This may include a column, a horizontal line, or a grid. And items in a list appear similar to one another. Mozenda has created an action that can automatically collect lists. All list actions have the same basic structure. The begin list action. This action identifies where each item in the list is located on the page. The inner list actions. These are the set of actions, one or more, that are performed on each item found by the begin list action. And the end list action. This action signals the end of the current list item and commands the agent to move on and perform the inner list action on the next item found in the list. We've created three different list tools to help you collect data from the web. First, the item list action. This action captures a list of data that appears on the page. The basic pattern is as follows. Click one item, choose capture a list, click a similar item, and name the field. Second, the data list action. This action performs searches using data you already have. In the builder, it looks like this. Choose the input object, such as a search bar. Choose create a list of inputs. Specify the data source. This could be a file from your computer, a collection of data you've created or uploaded on your Mozenda account, or manually entered data. I'll choose a collection of data from my account. From your data source, choose the field that will be used as the input values. Finally, the input list action. This action cycles through options provided by the target website via a drop-down menu or option box. Let's see it in the builder. Choose the drop-down menu, then create a list of inputs, and choose all, all but the first, or only the following. To learn more about lists, visit the Mozenda Help Center.